I feel like I've been recording for a while, so I'm almost wondering if I should end the session here. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome, she's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here, haha. <laughs> okay. I have no reason to, so... This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower. <laughs> yeah, it definitely does that. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll go ahead and save. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. It better. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Sure, why not? I said I was gonna end anyway. May as well do some, like, side stuff, I guess. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Yes, my god, what a struggle. Over here, I know a shortcut. A fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hi, Sansi. Hey, Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> Here, get comfy. Whoops. Watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. <laughs> yeah, like you. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Let's get a good burg. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grillby, we'll have a double order of burg. <laughs> he even called it burg. <laughs> yes. So, what do you think of my brother? He's cool. Of course he's cool. He'd be cool too if you were that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that, I mean he wears it in the shower. <laughs> Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Sure. Bon appetit. You tip the ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Whoops! Eh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Well then why'd you order? <laughs> anyway, cool or not, you have to agree, Papyrus tries really hard. Like how he keeps trying to be a part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. The next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yes. So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Part of me thinks it's not an echo flower. <laughs> well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Yeah, yeah, you tried really hard to stay, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you f foot the bill? It's just... Oh my god! No! Just kidding. Grillby, put it on my tab. Okay, good. By the way, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Yeah, you did. You definitely did. <laughs> okay, well, very quickly. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. I thought maybe Papyrus would be here in his house. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be real serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. 
a place I like to spend a lot of time. Are we going to... Are we going back to Grillby's? My house! Oh, okay. I should have figured. <laughs> what do we got? It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, what's this? The door is locked. Oh. There's, there's, there's some groovy stuff happening in there, for sure. Okay, what's this? This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. <laughs> it's a joke book. Take a look inside. Sure. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. <laughs> yeah, probably. Welcome to Scenic My House. Enjoy and take your time. Ooh, it's my favorite game show. It says stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. Okay. That's my room. If you've finished looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they... Oh, God. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> oh, he has a race car bed. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. Ah, yes. Action figures. A great reference for the theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! Aw. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. The internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy format or goofy font. Oh god. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it basically just happened. <laughs> there are no skeletons inside my closet. Except me, sometimes. <laughs> Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Oh, okay. What's this? Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> God, he is so cool. I like him a lot, actually. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? I guess. Okay, dating starts. What? Oh, it's a battle? Dating starts. Here we are on our dates. I've actually never done this before, but don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. <laughs> I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. Oh. Wowie, I feel so informed. 
I think we're ready to step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem. Human, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Really? Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing? That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? Yes. <laughs> no! You planned it all? You're way better at dating than I am. N no, your dating power... Yeah. Yeah. Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating and never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Yeah, what do you think of my secret style? I love it. No! A genuine compliment! <laughs> However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Oh, okay, I gotta find the secret. My hat? My hat? My hat! Yeah! Well, well then, you found my secrets. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. <laughs> Don't you know what this is? <laughs> is that your brain? <laughs> Spaghetti. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh, so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ag! Erg! No! Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I. Um, boy, is it hot in here, or is it just me? <clears throat> oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date... Feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, that was weird. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me at any time. Platonically. Well, gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I have his I have his phone number now. That's cool. Wow, it only took you for four seconds to call me. You must be very desperate for my help. Well, do not fear. This is Papyrus' helpful helpline. Just describe your location and I will describe some hot tips. So, where are you? You're still in my room? <laughs> Have you heard of something called a door? <laughs> Wait, don't worry. I'll draw a diagram for you. <laughs> Oh god. So there's a there's definitely a bonus for saving these people or these monsters because you get like witty dialogue like that too. I kind of like that. Like I really really like this. This has been a lot of fun so far. I'm really curious to see like how much is left in this game. From what I've heard it's not a very long game, but like I don't know. I just have no idea. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save. And I'm going to go ahead and actually end this session right here. I will be probably right back, though. Uh, either n next time or in a few seconds. Depends on how long I decide to make these videos. Uh, but yeah, this has been a lot of fun so far. I'm curious to see more of this game. It's been uh, it's been a joy. It's been, uh, it's been real. It's definitely been real. And uh, yeah. I'll uh, see you guys next time. Later, folks. Hello, everybody. Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Undertale playthrough. Uh, we're going to go ahead and continue our journey through the underground. Uh, really curious about what we're going to actually be uh, going through uh, coming up here soon. Because apparently, according to what Papyrus was saying, there's actually not like a whole lot left. But that just might be me, like, assuming, because I'm not exactly sure what to expect here. After all, this is a blind playthrough, so, uh, yeah, expectations are just kind of all over the place at the moment. Uh, so yeah, we've already talked to Sans, we went back, we did some, like, little, I guess, side quest stuff. We actually have, uh, Papyrus' phone number now. Let's, let's give him a call before we get started. My brother has a station here. Yes, he makes two stations at once. Amazing, isn't he? He slacks off twice as much as normal. <laughs> yeah, he does, but you know, you gotta love him. You gotta love him, I guess. So yeah, let's go ahead and continue. We have... Hey, look, it's the rocks from uh, the ruins. Interesting. Oh uh, yeah, we can use the box. Um, I have a lot of stuff, it seems like. Oh, th th these are all healing items, though, so I guess that's something. I, maybe I don't have to use that. Uh, before I do anything, let me go down here first. I think I want to avoid that. Oh, it's one of those flowers again. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Oh, okay, so there's probably something behind the water. Because, yeah, it looks like we have to cross the water here and avoid the rocks. But, uh, yeah, I see, like, a little door right there. Aha! What is this? There's a tutu laying on the ground here. Will you take it? Uh, yes. <laughs> we got the old tutu. Um, guessing this is going to be a defensive item. Defense 10, finally a protective piece of armor. Yeah, I don't know about that, but, um... Hey, it's better than what we got right now. Even if it's just better by a little, it's still, uh... Still better than nothing else. Okay, let me wait till the rocks to go by. Go back here. So I can put away the manly bandana. It was very manly. I kind of wish, like, it would adjust, like, your character, because they don't seem like they'd be, like, too drastic changes to your, uh, character design. Uh, this is a game where I feel like that, that, that would, those would actually look kind of cool on your character if you wore them. Oh, well. 
Okay, I got hit by the rocks, but it didn't matter, I guess. Okay, well, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Uh-oh. Hi! Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Y yes of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? W w well no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. W what? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't ha ha have to destroy them. You see... You see... I understand. I'll help you in any way that I can. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, God. That was kind of scary, not gonna lie. Oh, hey, it's that kid. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome! I'm so jealous! What'd you do to get her attention? Haha. <laughs> Come on! Let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Ooh, looks like that, uh, Undyne has some fanboys and such. Yeah, I'll go ahead and save. Not like very much happened or anything. Uh, when four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Okay. This doesn't take a genius... Yay! It's like another mouse hole. Looks like kind of another mouse hole right there. Okay. Oh, okay. More enemies. We have Aaron. You know, I have. I had an old friend named Aaron. I wondered what the, what the hell happened to him. I guess I finally figured it out. Uh, let's see. Um. Yeah, let's flex alongside him. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you, too. Ooh, flexing contest? Okay, flex more. Okay, so this is pr this is pretty easy. I think we just have to uh, just keep on flexing to uh, win his approval. You flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases for you, too. Nice. I won't lose the... Okay, well, we're going to keep on flexing, I guess. Man. Not doing a good job avoiding these attacks. Uh, okay, let's keep on flexing. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room! Yay! Okay, that was simple. That was simple enough, I suppose. Okay, so I have to... There's a signpost here. Let's see what this says. If an error is made, the bell blossom can call bridge seeds back to where they started. Okay. Interesting. I mean, this is... Or do they have to be in, like, a straight line? Like, can they be touching at the very least? Because maybe... Like, I'm wondering if I can maybe, like, Tetris block this or something. See if that'll work. Okay, no, I can't do that. Okay, yeah, I can't do that. Okay, well, let's undo this. Hmm. Oh! Okay, I think I figured it out, but, like, I want to do this first because there's a sign down here. I wonder if maybe this sign has any, like, cool hints or something. If not cool hints, just, like, some kind of, uh, flavor text that might be worth hearing. You never know. 
But I know what exactly what I'm doing, though, in this room, for sure. Congratulations! You failed... <laughs> you failed the puzzle. <laughs> I mean... Kind of? I mean, I have the redo bell, so I didn't technically fail it yet, but... Yeah, like, you just do this. Okay, that's kind of cool. And see, like, because I did this... I can now walk vertically down like this. Ring? Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm, I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? Oh, uh, he's probably talking about Undyne. Um, no. So you aren't wearing a dusty tutu. Got it. You're my friend, so I trust you 100%. Have a nice day. Oh, gosh. I hate lying to him, but, like... <laughs> I also, like, want to live, you know? 